everyone. I don't know what it is about travel and tech, but they seem to go hand in hand. And this is no different, whether it's the equipment you're using to film on or whether it's the equipment that you are editing on. I was totally fascinated by the Thunderbolt display. It was many years ago when I worked at Best Buy when I saw these that I really, really wanted one. And uh, it was only uh, a couple years ago when I actually saw Talos of Tech. I was watching him review, review the Thunderbolt displays and even in today's age how useful they could still be. Um, they're 1440p displays and so they are very, very usable. No, they're not retina displays like the new Mac Studio display, but if you can find them, they are about a fraction of the cost. So when I did get a couple of these displays a couple years ago, I had an M1 Mac Mini. And the only issue with the Mac Mini is I could not use both displays at once, so I would have to get two Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapters, and you could still not use both displays simultaneously. But now, we fast forward to a Mac Studio with an M1 Max and a MacBook Pro with an M1 Max, and I can confirm that yes, you definitely can daisy chain the monitors and only use one Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 cable, only taking up one Thunderbolt port on your Mac Studio or your MacBook Pro with M1 Max. I cannot tell you whether or not they work with an M1 Pro, but I can 100% tell you because I've tested them, they will work with your M1 Max equipped computer. So the way you do this is you will take your Thunderbolt 2 cable, you will plug that into the Thunderbolt 2 port on the other monitor. Then you will take that Thunderbolt 2 cable Plug that into an Apple Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 slash USB-C cable and that goes into the back of your Mac Studio or your MacBook Pro. And as you can see behind me, they 100% work. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it makes your life easier if you already have one or are planning to get a second one but don't want to spend, you know, $1,600 for the new Mac Studio display at this point in time. Can't blame you. These monitors are phenomenal. Thank you very much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out.